Welcome to Holy Hope, a St. Matthew podcast. In today's episode, Father Balki speaks with Diane Karadjev about our summer vacation here at St. Matthew. Welcome back to Holy Hope, our parish podcast here at St. Matthew. I'm Father Balki. I'm joined by Diane Karadjev, who coordinates our faith formation here at the parish. Welcome, Diane. Thank you. It is nice to be here. Glad to have you. One of the things that happens as we sort of get back into a whole new year of school and formation and the grind starts up and the commuting schedule changes and we never really think back on what happened with summer. So we thought it was a good chance maybe to get in front of the microphone again and to summarize summer. What was all of that? So to lead back right before school let out on May 29th, we had the ordination of our new bishop, Michael Martin, um, a big spiritual renewal in the diocese um, and steps into a whole new era as he serves as our fifth bishop here in the um, diocese. Um, I know we were even live streaming some of the ceremonies and events. Um, we were here at right the into the church. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I know we had some folks who went up for the holy hour the night before and just various festivities because um, that's really what they are. Um, and that was right at the end of the school year. Mm hmm. And then we quickly flipped the page over into June. What did we find in June? We did, and we were blessed that one of the first public masses that the bishop celebrated was our parish mass at the AMP. That's right. With, what, 4,000 of our closest yeah. friends? <laughs> yeah. And it was an incredible experience. I think that that, um, to be the culmination of the year of um, Eucharistic revival, but more than that, kind of like a starting point for yeah. what's next. And he really, in his homily, gave us some beautiful challenges that we're going to do our best to sure. respond to. And I know we'll be hearing more about those yeah. as we go ahead. Also with that, I remember just the the magnetism. For me, one of my favorite moments definitely was the Eucharistic procession as we wrapped yes. up Mass because the choir was singing and people were kneeling down and it, it was everybody. It felt like everybody that I knew around St. Matthew was just coming to see our Lord in the monstrance. And, yes. and here's the bishop bringing him right through our midst. Um, our servers did a great job and just a very singular moment for me. Um, so launching that Eucharistic sense um, through, um, what else did we have in June? Oh, well, shortly after, a couple weeks after that, we had our vacation Bible school. The scuba The, the scuba, scuba theme. theme, yes. And it was an incredible week. It was hot. I think it was the Very. hottest week in June. Absolutely. But we had 400 elementary participants and 300 teens participating <gasps> and about 50 adults. So it was a sea of blue, truly, truly on Friday. But yeah. I think the most incredible thing for me, Father, was we commented at the end of the week that not once during the week did we see a teen on their phone. Wow. They were truly present in that time with these kids. And, you know, usually when you have an event and you have young people, sure. it's the constant, can you put your phone away? But there there's was so many things that. happening. So, yeah. you know, things can, you know, there's some downtime here. and Yeah. And it was, again, feeling the presence of the Holy Spirit just and the present moment. Way through. Yeah. Really, really being connected with the people around us. That's a great sign. Um, that brings us into July, um, which included our teens, both from middle school and high school, going to the Life Teen Camps of yes. Covecrest and Hidden Lake. I know I had a chance to go down there and you did. experience firsthand and first slime, the messy games. <laughs> um, I got to do the, uh, the rope swing at uh, Hidden Lake and um, yeah, some of the ropes course elements at uh, Covecrest, as well as a beautiful candlelight mass. Um, so really some great opportunities for our young people there. Um, it's always fun to see the relationships that they build when they sort of pause right. all of the rest of life. And they're just here with friends in faith. And there's, there's just nothing else to do. There's nowhere else to go. It is. Um, and yeah. it's beautiful, the energy that they bring back from that right. week um, and to see the ripple effect that it has throughout the rest of the summer, yeah. seeing them attend daily mass and just seeing them come and hang out. Yeah. So, and we hope that rolls over into them inviting other teens to come yes. out as we, you know, reboot for a new year of youth ministry. Um, so that's that's a really special thing. Um, what else do we have for July? We did actually that same weekend that they returned from camp, <laughs> right. we had our parish summer fest, which was a bounce houses in the gym and, yep. you know, food trucks out in the parking lot and just seeing 
er, like all different ages, all different demographics of our parish coming together and sharing a hot dog or pizza or yeah, I ice actually, cream. I got to play some uh, can jam uh-huh. with um, Jimmy Coleman, who's like a minor celebrity of the Charlotte Catholic scene. The adoration scene. runner. The all, adoration ultra runner. And yeah. he's actually doing things with the upcoming Eucharistic Congress um, to the convention center here this weekend. So, well... And By the time you watch this, it may, <laughs> he might have already zoomed past you, but uh, the 30th and 31st of August, um, he'll be bringing a team of runners in, um, starting from various places to convene at the Congress. Um, but yeah, just a lot of happy faces at our summer fun night, um, and the music provided yes, by our I praise are. and worship um, ensemble was Incredible just as always. A, a awesome boost. It was great to see folks of yeah, just all ages and you know people coming out for mass and people stopping by later in the evening. Um, and all of the food that I had was delicious, so <laughs> I can't Same. complain. Um, well, that's, that's just through July. Yes. And August, of course, a big rally point for us, the World Hunger Drive, mm -hmm. um, which culminates in the August 10th um, meal packing event. We had, what, about 330,000 meals? I think so, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, it may have been the largest ever fundraising as well. Um, it definitely was the largest so, fundraising. The yeah. generosity of this parish is incredible. Yeah, we saw time, talent, and treasure on display. Um, and just so many families coming out, getting engaged, and literally lending a hand um, <laughs> to, to put this all together. Um, I think that's so, so cool to have those tangible pieces of um, not just giving, but actually taking part um and in addition um another way we come into that that sense of feeding is then we've already had for august a family adoration we, um, did. On we had Friday our first night. one of the school year um and beautifully instructional um way of looking at it before we began thank you very much for oh, that happy to help yeah. and sharing kind of the sights and sounds and smells uh, <laughs> right. before we before we started, I think that was beautiful for the children, but also allowing them to bring their backpacks yep. and make a little prayer tag and get them blessed for the school year. Yeah, so it was fun to see they would decorate, you know, different colors of ribbon or, you know, stars, emblems, decals, crosses, you know, writing their names on there. Um, and then, you know, a prayer of blessing that, that we remember that, as, as I included in the prayer, when we put on our backpacks, you know, we pick up our cross and we follow Jesus. And yeah. so that's a very much a daily experience. Um, it's never just ordinary to go to school. You know, we're always growing in our love for the Lord and, and caring for our neighbor. Um, and that's just the summer. Right. Now we're launching into sessions for faith formation. Mm -hmm. School is back. All sorts of folks of all ages inquiring about the faith um, through OCIA, um, Order of Christian Initiation of Adults or Teens or Children, as is appropriate for them. And that really leads us to... Um, a resource we want to highlight in the parish. What is that resource that, that people can, can plug into? That resource is formed.org, and they partner with several different Catholic publishing companies for video series, audio series. Um, there's things for kids. There's things for adults. There's things uh, about the sacraments. It's just a, a beautiful way to grow your personal faith, but maybe your whole family. And how much does it cost? Absolutely free. It's free 50, folks. <laughs> Our parish pays for a license so that you can access form this whole multimedia library. Yeah, podcasts, audiobooks, video series, everything you could imagine, um, scripture studies. Yeah. Um, so that you can access that and know that you're receiving something authentic and faithful to the church's teaching that can engage and really help you fan into flame, right? Those sparks that you have. Um, so if I'm interested in getting on formed mm -hmm. at St. Matthew, how would I do that? Where would I go? The easiest thing is to go to our website, St. Matthew Catholic, that's stmatthewcatholic.org slash formed. That's going to give you some easy steps of where to go. It will take you step by step on how to Love access it. this, I guess, like a Netflix for Catholics. Yeah. That's a great way to think of it. You're just a huge streaming hub for, yes. for all things Catholic faith. Um, yeah, I really want to highlight that resource because I think 
one of the challenges we face of being a vibrant, large community is we could always go more into everything, but we want to know, what do you want to know? Like, wh- where, where yes. is your growing needing to happen? And so maybe as someone is, you know, previewing different things or watching trailers on form, they say, I never thought to ask that question or I've never even heard of that scene. Right. And that can help us know as we put together the resources and the staff and the team and our awesome volunteers at the parish, how can we serve you? How can we get into this together and really engage and do things that people are going to find valuable and bring them along? Um, So one of the things we can actually do, I'll put the link up here if we can fit it in. Thank you, editors. Um, for the stmatthewcatholic.org slash formed and go ahead and just click right up here in the corner and after you've registered if you see something that you think should be part of how we teach hand on and grow in our faith leave a comment below post it as a comment to this video and if we see things that are gaining some traction what's a question that you have about the faith and we can address that We'll try to find a way to bring that across, maybe in a future episode of the podcast, maybe through a course offering or mm-hmm. something we highlight in a bulletin, give a QR code. We want to help you find the answers to the questions you have and resources for the things you want to dive into more. Um, but I can't read everyone's mind. And, right. Um, and I think it's important to remember that if you have a question, yeah. chances are someone else has that same question. Very likely. Yeah. So be a good neighbor, right? You know, (laughs) raise your hand and bring it up. No one's going to mind when we're not going to give out homework. So it's not like it'll kick back on you. Um, Yeah, it's a a good thing to want to share our curiosity for the faith um, and to bring people into our search. Yes. Because that's an invitation that we all need to always go deeper in our relationship with Jesus. Thanks for your help. Thanks My for your pleasure. memory. I mean, so much <laughs> happening this summer. Good memories. I don't think if I could have gotten through all of those many, many engaging activities. So thank you, Diane, for being here. Let's finish up with a glory be. All right. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Matthew. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That's all for this time. See you next time on Holy Hope.